choosing your target market. In week one, we talked about attracting motivated sellers and we went over in detail about how to, how to choose your target market. For short sales, it's super simple. I'm gonna recommend you find the lowest price neighborhood closest to you to do your business in. For me, that was going to Palmdale, Lancaster. If you lived in the valley, I would recommend, I probably wouldn't start in Encino, I'd probably go like Van Nuys, right? That's where I would start. When you get better at it, you can do bigger deals. And the only reason I say that, and this is gonna be totally politically incorrect in the most worst way, <laughs> which I've never been, <laughs> lower priced homes have usually lower sophistication owners. Simple as that. So if you're starting out and you don't know all your tricks and have all your all your negotiation tactics and when they say this, I say that, boom, 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 like you have all your shit together and your marketing pieces dialed in, it's easier to sell that, sell this to lower income people, right? They also have less to lose, usually. It's just a fact. Hi, you get into the multi-million dollar homes that you're gonna start doing short sales on, and you can, and it all works the same, but you're gonna be your opponent, if you will, the person you're gonna help, is gonna have a lot more complicated situation. Tax situation. Almost never one time got what about the tax ramifications in Palmdale? I just never ever got asked that. Started doing short sales in Santa Clarita, started doing short sales in Encino, Tarzana, I did a bunch of them in the Valley. Every time, what about my tax situation? What, what about this, right, the, you know, this debt that's being forgiven? How does that get processed? How does that work? So I'm just saying, you're gonna get different objections in those different markets. Um, and there happens to be, in most cases, more houses facing foreclosure in the lower end market. So you can fish in a bigger pond with a less sophisticated seller, you'll do more deals, you'll get your education up, and then you can go do less deals with bigger numbers, right? That's kind of how everything in real estate works anyway, I would say. So I recommend you find the lower end market closest to your home to do this process in.